Hello, comrade, and welcome to Phantom Doctrine. It is good, very nice to see you, of course. How's it going, guys? And welcome to a nice Cold War era game here, Phantom Doctrine. I have to say, I haven't had this much fun with the game in a long time. Phantom Doctrine is what would happen if an amazing spy novel and XCOM had a beautiful baby. Uh, this game is just fascinating. It takes place during the Cold War. Uh, you, of course, initially in the beginning of the game get to select between the KGB and the CIA with what looks like the possibility to perhaps add the Czech Secret Service or some other, um, you know, security organization. Um, and then, of course, you jump into a story that's just incredible of uh, infiltrating locations, selling secrets, uh, and, of course, capturing agents and, of course, interrogating your own as well. Now, I'd love to touch upon every single bit of the game, but that would take a very long time. What I'm trying to do here is just show off one of the simpler missions. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward spy mission, and that is we need to infiltrate this location and kill or capture what we know to be an enemy agent. Um, of course, in this situation, um, th it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if we capture him, we could potentially learn some valuable information but I think we're probably gonna go for the easy route out and kill him. Now I already see a camera in this room, so I know this is being monitored, but maybe the camera's facing just this way and we can potentially get through, but then see, I see those locked doors and we don't have any lock picks. So it looks like we're probably gonna head this way um, and try to find a way out of here. Very reminiscent of 007 and all these spy novels, and just like in um, games like XCOM, you're going to have a team that you can build up over time uh, to really just be an amazing team. Uh, and, you know, certain agents that you grow really close to are going to end up turning on you and f working for the other oh. side. This Why is, is this all time? basically the realities of life in aspiring. So Mero is one of our spies, and of course my main spy Kodiak here uh, is, is one I can't lose. If you lose your main spy, you lose the game. You can lose these other ones, and that's not the end of the world, but that main spy cannot be turned or lost, or else it's all over. The same goes for your base. If it gets destroyed, it's finished. Alright, I'm hoping there's no cameras here, man. We're getting a little too lucky. Looks like some sort of drinking den, perhaps. And I'm just going to follow right through, get to that door. Let's see where our target is, or our mark. So he's all the way back here and potentially up some stairs. This could take a little longer than anticipated. You can always breach through the doors also, but we're trying to be quiet right now. We're not trying to go into this uh, too aggressively. Also notice how the agents always close doors behind them. Very smart move uh, to not draw any suspicion. Let's just peek out of this door a little bit. Howdy, howdy. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. But there's a window there, so we want to be careful. You never know if there's going to be potentially a guard outside the window. Uh, I think right now this mission is taking place within the Soviet Union. In fact, it is. Um, even though we're agents of the Soviets, we still have to approach uh, these uh, missions in a clandestine way, which is, which is really interesting. Can't just uh, get an arrest warrant by the state. It's not that easy. Okay, so again, I'm hoping nobody walks by. We're slowly inching our way closer to this target, and what we need to do is find a stairwell and also make sure that none of those cameras capture us because if they spot us, we're going to actually have to pull our guns out and fight the guards off. And as fun as that might be for you guys, it's not going to be too fun for me, especially since these are agents I kind of care about. Let's get that door open. Okay. So this is definitely restricted uh, space for sure. As long as that camera doesn't tag us, we should be safe moving into it. Just going to really inch our way forward, and this looks like it could be a control room or potentially just a prison block, um, you know, where we could maybe unlock a door. I don't know what it is yet, so I'm not going to take a chance. What about this? This could be a control room. All right, we might breach this door. Um, here's what I'm going to do, folks. Always very careful with this. Now, even with civilians, you want to avoid killing civilians, of course. Uh, you don't want to raise too much suspicion. But you, there's actually a way to take down civilians without hurting them. Uh, so if we can do that, if we find any civilians, then, then we will, of course. 
because uh, they will certainly alert the guards. We've got a guard right there, and she is ready to kill us if she needs to. She could use, yeah, we could use a flashbang here, but I don't think we have to use a flashbang. We have to get up the stairs, number one. And get our target. So that's what I'm going to focus on. Yeah, I see a locker in here, guys. A lot of the times, the lockers in each room uh, will have really cool hidden items. So I'm actually going to go and see what there is inside. So we got some loot for a 38. I guess if we find four parts of that 38, we eventually uh, get to construct it. Okay. Let's just hope that she doesn't spot us, guys. If you guys would like to see more action in Phantom Doctrine, please do let me know. Um, comment down below, hit that like button, and subscribe to our channel. We do a lot of strategy here, and I want to do a lot more, especially with games like this out. Uh, anything that has to do with the Cold War absolutely fascinates me. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Looks way too quiet. Our target's supposed to be right there. So let's go. All right, Mero. Can you make up your mind already? Oh, really? Come on, I'm your spy master. You do what I say. Things happen. Now, Mero has a hijab. Um, this also leads me to believe there could be... I mean, there's a number of other spy organizations besides just the CIA and the uh, KGB. Uh, so I'm guessing that they're going to probably add those later. That'd be really neat as DLC. Uh, maybe Iranian Secret Service, for instance. Um, the uh, incredible Yugoslavian Secret Service. I'd love to see that. Are we done, and the British as well. I mean, the British, you know, they're not CIA. Scotland Yard is certainly separate. Well, they work together sometimes. So we're going to go into this area carefully. I don't want this guy running on us. And if we can knock him out, it's going to be the first time I've taken an enemy agent prisoner. And I'm really curious as to what happens. Okay. This room looks weird. Oh my goodness. I see what's going on here. Oh boy. We were spotted, guys. The fight commences, and I'm almost certain that this uh, this guy's going to try to escape. So we just got a grazed uh, injury there. We're going to have to fight it out now. And this is where the game gets a little bit dangerous. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm not going to be taking him prisoner. Um, I think killing him is going to be the right course of action here. If we weren't compromised, I'd probably go for the kill, or I'd probably go for the capture, but it's not the case. All right, here we go. First shot with Kodiak. I'm going to fire down at that guard. And that's a great shot. A nice heavy machine gun there. You can see that each uh, character is going to get their own sort of weapon. Come on, Mero. And we can actually breach um, a room together if we do this properly. I might be able to show that to you guys here. But then again, if I can get a kill, I'm just going to go for it. There's the enemy agent. He's trying to escape. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, what is that? How did he pull that out of his pocket? Dude, it's a huge gun. All right, let's take this guy out. I got a guard coming in. A pretty nasty shot for a graze uh, from Mero. You can see the enemy activity here. And it's pretty crazy. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with Mero over here, kill this guy, hopefully, and obviously kill this guy with Kodiak. Even if Mero gets killed, she's one of many agents, and we can replace her. Who we, the guy we can't replace is Kodiak. Uh, and we've also got civilian here, but you know he's already alerted, so there's no point in taking him out. Right. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a grenade. Yes, that's what we want. I'm going to toss a frag grenade right on top of this guy. And hopefully this is enough to end his reign of terror. Boom, down to 14. Uh, not dead yet. 
We could certainly go for the kill shot, but we risk um, getting killed by this guy. I don't think I want to take that risk. Nice. Okay, that was a nice hit. Um, I also know flashbangs lower their awareness, so sometimes they can't fire, but I don't know if we lowered his awareness uh, by shooting him. Although it said there that uh, defenders are scared when wounded, so potentially that's enough to kill him. Oh boy, yep. Marrow is down. Just lost an agent, folks. Not everybody makes it through, unfortunately. <sighs> Damn. Like shooting ducks. We'll see about that. Wonder if we can jump down and quickly take cover. But it's going to be a really tough uh, move. Let's see. Let's take cover over here because then we'll have a little bit of cover from the guy upstairs. Or the girl upstairs anyway. Not too much though. And we're going for the kill guys on Agent Ginger. Gingers don't have souls. Get rid of him. He is dead. Now the issue is, can we escape? I'm not sure, folks. Uh, we are going to ask for evac. And there's a second evac location here. Let's see which one's closest to us. It's going to be that one there. So we're going to confirm that as the uh, evac location, guys. And hopefully we don't get killed here with the next shot. Gotta love those late night calls. Who knows, guys? It could be the KGB. So look at that. We're down to four health. Oh, man. Um, the interesting thing here is we do actually have uh, a med pack. But the question is, can we get to it in time before another agent fires at us? I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Man, this is going to be a really, really risky escape. Okay, here we go. Using that first aid kit on Kodiak. Got him up to 64 health, and it's two turns away from the evac, uh, but the reinforcements could potentially make our evac harder to get or shut our evac, evac down entirely. Uh, so we better hope that we can hold this room, guys. Sometimes it's good to set up like an overwatch so that anybody coming in the doors immediately gets shot, but we don't have uh, that many action points. Fortunately, we're leaving Mero behind, but she completed her task, so as far as I'm concerned, the uh, agency will be happy. The organizatsi will be happy. One turn away for that evac vehicle. So I'm thinking should we just run outside immediately or play it safe? And I don't know. Go through this door. That seems a little bit safer. Let's see. Again, you never know, especially since we don't have the line of sight here until we're actually in this area. So there's definitely uh, an enemy here. But if we can just run into that zone, we'll be fine. I wonder if he spots us. I think he's already spotted us. He might be coming to stop us here. Come on, vehicle. It's going to be a great uh, mission complete, man. I mean, you know, we lost an agent. But it's my first time just going in, wasting an enemy agent, and uh, escaping. So I really want to see what happens. What intel we learn, or maybe we don't learn anything at all. Okay, here we go. So there's a little animation anytime the uh, rescue car arrives. And I have to say, I like it. I think it's cool. So now we just have to get into that zone and get the hell out. But depending on the injuries we have before we or when we escape, we also have to actually recoup those injuries over time. And yeah, I think we're safe here, guys. Kodiak's going to make a run. Got a guard right there. We're going to ignore him and go straight for the evac. Yes. Sorry. Got to leave agents behind sometimes. And that's going to be a successful mission. 
So of course, um, I should have mentioned this, but you see my uh, agent here. You get to completely customize your agent in the beginning. Uh, so you can make whatever agent you want. I just happen to select one that looked like this. Uh, there's also pre-customized ones if you don't want to go through the hassle. And there we go, agent success. So we did get uh, equipment, but no actual classified documents. I'm not sure how valuable that's going to be to us overall. Okay, so once again, guys, if you like this game, please do uh, let me know by hitting that like button and commenting down below. Love to do a Let's Play on this one, uh, and maybe we could even get some channel members uh, as the names of the agents in the particular game that we're playing. Uh, you can, of course, fully customize everything, uh, just like in XCOM, so that's absolutely uh, one of the, the possibilities, of course. Come on, baby. What do I get? Continue. Okay. So we got a 38, I mean, not great, and she's wounded, so this is terrible. She's actually been captured by the enemy. Potentially, as we proceed through the game, we can uh, save her, but we'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you on the next one.